Global Stewardship, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 331. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sabel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is a weekly progress update number 331, July 28th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is a topic that is near and dear to my heart, which is global stewardship. Because what we're creating are models that could be applied, they don't have to be applied for global stewardship, but they really are global stewardship models. The idea is to take humanitarianism and philanthropy and put it in the hands of the common person all around the world, give people enough of what they need to not just survive, but to thrive, and enough free time and an effective engine for making change, positive change in the world, and a model that is built specifically so that the more it shares itself, the more we open source, the more we free share, and the more we invite people to participate, and the more others do the same when replicating our model, the more successful it is. And that is what we call a self-replicating model for global stewardship. More specifically, our idea is to take it, everything that we're doing and demonstrate it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own, taking the complete model and developing an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, high school economic models, high school education models, and tourist stewardship, and putting them all together to create teacher demonstration hubs and demonstrate those as easy enough, affordable enough, attractive enough, so they spread on their own. And so what you see happening in the background of the video here are the open source designs that we've been working on for the last nine years, working towards open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary to replicate everything that you see. And so much more, so much more. And all of this is a path to global stewardship. Because we think that if people have enough to meet their own needs, and a lot of research has backed this up, shows that you know we are an empathic society, an empathic civilization. We're people that care about other people. And so when you remove the stresses of life, when you remove people's need to survive, most people will lend a helping hand to their fellow human being. And we want to create global stewardship models, teacher demonstration hubs designed to do that, to meet people's needs, to exceed people's needs, and to provide enough, not only to provide for people and their friends and their family, but also for others, giving back giving back to the people that they care about, giving back to their local communities, giving back on a national level, and contributing at a global level to a global cooperative and collaborative working together for the highest good of all life on this planet. That is global stewardship. And so the food models that we've designed are sustainable so that they regenerate the land and so that they grow food that doesn't take more than it gives. The housing models are the same way. They're designed to put carbon back into the ground to last for hundreds, if not thousands of years in many cases, to be more durable, more affordable, and built with sustainable uh, materials. The energy infrastructure that we're building is sustainable and renewable energy and open sourcing and free sharing those models, as well as some of the more radically sustainable ideas for for water purification and things of that nature, for, for water heating, those kinds of ideas, heat exchange, capturing heat, uh, lost heat from, from uh, laundry facilities, that kind of stuff, like putting all these different things together to demonstrate a better way of living and a better way of living that provides more of the things that people want, which is affordable energy, affordable housing, affordable food, healthier food, healthier housing, healthier air, healthier water, and more time and freedom to use the environment that they're creating, which also has a social architecture component, the high school education model, the uh, economic model, all those things are designed to give people more free time to do the things that they wanna do, more money to do the things that they wanna do, and to free them from the pressures of capitalism and survival to then instead go out and be global stewards, to apply global stewardship for the betterment of all people and all life on this planet, to create a sustainable civilization for our children, our grandchildren, and their grandchildren for generations to come, an open source and free shared model that's flexible enough, adaptable enough, 
to address the challenges of this generation, all the generations to come, and to keep evolving and growing so that it becomes better and better and better. And so this is our idea for global stewardship, to put all these things together, to demonstrate a better way of life, to make it easy enough and affordable enough so that it'll spread on its own and to build one community as the first place that people can come and experience what it is that we're creating, get hands-on experience of what it is that we're doing, or just get hands-on experience living in one of these homes, experiencing what it looks like, what it feels like, talking to people that live in them, see the durability, open sourcing and free sharing the complete construction process, the maintenance process, the cost analysis, all the details, everything associated with that, and then cooperate and collaborate with people around the world replicating these models using our tools and resources and open source plans to make them better to improve them, to open source and free share even more options for people. And in so doing, create a, a template, a prototype for global stewardship in the hands of people all around the world working together to create a world that works for everybody. And at this point, we've had almost 400 volunteers helping with our team uh, to create everything. We're a 100% volunteer team. So we can show you that it is possible. I mean, over almost 400 volunteers coming together to create this just so far, and we are just getting started. We will have thousands of volunteers, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of visitors coming to experience what it is that we're creating, spreading the word, sharing this idea, and seeing that it really can be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough to spread its own. This is what we're up to. This is what our all-volunteer team is all about. And with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of global stewardship. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued adding the content to the most sustainable insulation options page. This week, we created and added the new insulation icons, header and social media images, and finished the sections shown here and covering aircrete and straw bale insulation. Also working on the most sustainable insulation options page, Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her eighth week to finalize this research. This week she wrote the FAQ section and did more research and writing to discuss the products not included in the article. This brings the behind the scenes work on this to 99% complete. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 166 working on the Earth Bank Village. This week, he worked on creating the new and larger windows that are fire code compliant and necessary for these three bedroom home designs. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 61st week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was continued standardization of the page layouts, parts colors, labels, and other details. Almost every one of these images has been edited in some way during the last week. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created these final duplicable city center library renders. These new renders show the final plans for the furniture layouts, custom bench and table designs, shelving, lighting, polished concrete floors, and aesthetic details added to make the columns look like trees. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, continued research to find the right outdoor patio lights for installation along the city center patio areas. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 12th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and city center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he finished the baseline model. You can see some of the baseline calculations here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 17th week helping with the duplicable city center structural details. This week's focus was continued work deleting extra members in 3D and testing and retesting the model in SAP, and researching about entryway designs to determine the best way to integrate our sliding glass door entries into the domes. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. 
This week, the core team continued developing the behind the scenes content for the open source permaculture design page. This week's focus was completing the ethics, principles, and domains section. We also began work on the initial design considerations section. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued developing the goat barn in SketchUp 3D. Here you can see the designs evolving. And last but not least, the core team researched various articles on breeds of sheep and incorporated what we learned into the behind the scenes sheep tutorial Google Doc shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the redesign of the Ultimate Classroom. This week, we replaced the straw bales with solid walls so we could produce these outdoor renders. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with week three of his work adding people and object additions to the redesigned and re-rendered sections of the Ultimate Classroom. Here are the latest drafts of the red and green rooms and a view looking south. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team edited and reformatted our complete volunteer agreement as a Google form that can now be completed online. The core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, also rewrote our new volunteer welcome page and policies again. We added more details and made it easier to understand. The core team and Brian Gilb additionally finished creation of our new internal communications procedure structure and document and a final revision of our new onboarding procedure. We also officially launched the new onboarding process with two new members. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 38th week as part of the marketing team by creating and launching all the subgroups and campaigns of the Highest Good of All campaign. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of global stewardship. If you'd like to see more de details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Uh, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to updates at gmail.com and, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way to help out is to join us on social media or to like this video, uh, share this video, share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make this as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on Instagram, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, and about 15 other social media networks. So wherever you're at, we are most likely there as well. The easiest way to help out is just like our post, share our post, comment. Those kinds of things all make a big difference. We really appreciate it. Just watching to the end is a big deal. If you've donated to our project, as I said earlier in the video, we're 100% volunteer, unpaid staff. So 100% of donations go towards forwarding our open source mission and our open source creation product process. None of it goes to paycheck for me or anybody else those are paid for what we're doing and so if you've donated thanks that makes a big difference and uh yeah until next week we will of course keep on keeping on thank you